Hey, friend, Chris here from MyLogicProRules.com, the website that helps you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro. Today, I have the very special privilege of sharing with you a brand new product update to a variety of different products from my very good friends at Apogee. Over here at WideLogic Pro Rules, I am a huge fan of Apogee products, and I've reviewed several of their interfaces over the years. And today's product update actually piggybacks off a product update from a couple weeks ago. And it covers a wide range of their interfaces from USB devices like Boom, Duet, and Symphony Desktop. Or if you own the flagship Symphony IO Mark II, well, this update's for you. Let's dig into it. The update that I'm referring to is that of the Apogee Control 2 application, which is the software mixer for each of Apogee's different interfaces. This allows you to enjoy zero latency monitoring as you record, plus direct access over hardware interface controls such as phantom power, preamp level, output level for the speakers and headphones, even DSP direct processing of your recorded signals. And starting today, the Symphony IO Mark II, the flagship interface, has been fully integrated into Control 2. So this introduces new functionality across the different interfaces, plus just some interesting creative opportunities. First is the introduction of TalkBack to Control 2. Originally only available for the Symphony IO, TalkBack has been made available across the interface lineup from Apogee. Now, let's say you're recording a friend, a collaborator, but you're not in the immediate vicinity of one another. Maybe your friend's in the other room and you're tracking them. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to just press a button and have an instant communication line from any input of any connected device to your laptop or computer and then be able to route that input to an output of your interface and be able to talk easily without having to run into the other room? Well, with Control 2, you can. There's a brand new TalkBack button in the upper right-hand corner of the Control 2 app. You just have to first go to TalkBack settings on the left-hand side and specify which input of which input device should be routed to which output of the Apogee hardware. You could choose, for example, the built-in microphone of your MacBook as your chosen TalkBack microphone. But in my case, since I own a Mac Mini, I don't have a built-in microphone on this device. Instead, I could choose from the variety of different connected devices to my Mac Mini. In this case, I'll choose the Apogee Hype Mic, which is a USB microphone perfect for recording, voiceover, in this case, TalkBack. So I just click on the only available input for the Hype Mic, then I choose from the available outputs of my connected Apogee interface. Once the input selection and output selections are highlighted in gray, just click on that TalkBack button in the upper right-hand corner of the app and begin communication with the artist. Hey, what's up? Now, many of us don't want to have to hop between our DAW and a software mixer every time we want to use the TalkBack control or adjust different interface controls. So that brings us to number two, which is the introduction of the control remote hardware control for the Control 2 app. Control Remote is a hardware USB controller that you connect to your laptop or to your computer and provides direct access over hardware controls of Symphony IO Mark II. But again, this Control Remote has been integrated across the interface lineup from Apogee. With the new Control Remote button in the Control 2 application, you can customize the one through four buttons and A through D buttons for controls that make the most sense or most valuable to your workflow. You can assign buttons to different input selection, as well as adjust different controls such as phantom power, different output workflows for Symphony IO users. And what makes this integration of hardware remote with Control 2 so awesome is that you can now save different presets for different workflows for your hardware remote. So maybe you have a preset when you're in a recording workflow and then a different preset when you're in a mixing workflow. And when a single control remote is not enough, you can now connect up to four control remotes to your computer, each with their own unique assignments. This brings us to number three for Symphony IO users, and that is that the Symphony IO Mark II has been fully integrated into the Control 2 app. So no longer do you have to work with a separate Symphony control app. You're all in on Control 2, enjoying these updates to talk back as well as hardware remote. You also get to enjoy, of course, the monitor workflows for multi-speaker, multi-channel setups. But I want to point out to you that the monitor workflow switching has dramatically improved. It's sped up considerably, where now you could set up a monitor workflow for just the height speakers or just the rears. Press a button to switch between these monitor workflows and it's near instantaneous. So you can quickly solo, for example, your height speakers or rears or the front center, whatever you prefer. Also, Symphony IO Mark II's Thunderbolt driver has been updated from a kernel extension to that of a driver kit extension for Mac systems. So no longer do you have to go into the startup options and reduce security to be able to use your interface. This is now set at the user level. Plus, there's a new, more robust firmware updater for Symphony IO Mark II. Of course, there are OS requirements for these updates depending on interface and system, 
I'll include a link down below that will take you to Apogee's website where you can get more information. There you have it, the updates to the Apogee Control 2 application and Apogee interfaces. You know, I've just been such a proponent of Apogee gear through the years. I, number one, thought it was a super cool update. Number two, I thought it was important to share with you if you own an Apogee interface. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, as always, please subscribe to WideLogic Pro Rules and please be sure to check out the description below where I always include links to PDFs, guides, and templates to help you in your journey with Logic Pro. Thanks so much and I'll talk to you later. Take care.